A statewide moratorium on evicting tenants during the coronavirus pandemic could end in the next two and a half weeks, triggering what some fear could be, a wave of evictions, unless lawmakers reinstate the ban. California Chief Justice Tani Cantal Sakauye, who chairs the State Judicial Council, announced Friday July 27, she plans to hold a vote, very soon, ending the ban on August 14. She said it's up to the governor and state lawmakers to fashion future tenant protections during the pandemic. The Judicial Council, which oversees the state's court system, imposed the eviction ban on April 6, effectively freezing court action on all eviction cases, except to protect public health and safety. The emergency order was set to expire 90 days following the end of the coronavirus state of emergency, which still is in effect. The April vote also included a ban on court-processed foreclosures, although foreclosure proceedings typically take place outside the California court system. In her statement Friday, Cantal Sakauye emphasized the bans were temporary. The court system acted to keep people in their homes during the shelter-in-place orders, she said. The legislature was not in session at the time and, therefore, was unable to respond to those needs, she said. But lawmakers were scheduled to return Monday. The remedies, are best left to the legislative and executive branches of government, Cantal Sakauye said. I want to give the two branches enough notice that the council will very soon resume voting to terminate these temporary orders. The Judicial Council originally planned to lift the ban in early June. But Governor Gavin Newsom, legislative leaders and fellow council members asked Cantal Sakauye to suspend that vote, to give the governor and the legislature more time to sort through various policy proposals. However, it's unlikely the legislature can enact legislation by August 14, and tenant advocates expressed concern many tenants who have been unable to pay their rent will be displaced. The state received more than seven. 1 million unemployment applications since stay-at-home orders last March plunged the economy into a downturn. With so many out of work, rent collections tumbled. 16% of California renters said they failed to pay their June rent on time, according to the U.S. Census' latest Household Pulse survey. 35% said they have little or no confidence they'll be able to pay the rent on time in August. The situation is dire, said a statement by affordable housing advocate Housing Now, noting that such action coincides with the loss of federal eviction protections. There is no statewide plan to protect renters who are facing evictions, the statement said. It's time for the legislative leadership and governor to act and to stop a surge in homelessness. Two bills aimed at protecting renters from evictions while giving them more time to repay back rent are pending in the legislature. SB 1410 by Sen.